Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Staying in D1. Uh, as you guys saw in the last episode, we got one draw and one loss. And even though we completely dominated the game offensively, I felt like our defense on our BPL team needed a little bit of an upgrade. So we went ahead and bought Mbia and... Um, Kabul to replace Colocini and Ferdinand. Now, they're not over, their overall rating is obviously lower, but the pace is what we needed. I know, you know, usually I'm always the one who's saying we don't need pace, we don't need pace. I'm, I'm so against pace, you know. But uh, in this case, we just need a little bit, a little bit of quickness on our uh, on our center back, simply because I feel like the previous two games. We shouldn't have really lost. I mean, I just completely annihilated my opponents, but they just got me on the counterattack, and Colocini was getting outpaced by Cunaguero. But we'll see how this does with this adjustment. We're going to go ahead and come up against this opponent who's using a great little 4-3-2-1 La Liga side. He's got a really, really nice team, to be honest with you guys. Jordi Alba, Pepe, Diego Alves, etc. We're going to start off things real, real early in this game, and I was... I was in in a mode where I just I just wanted to score as many goals as possible to win, and we pick up an awkward penalty. Uh, I didn't really see what happened. I think his goalie somehow ran into Balotelli or something. I'm not sure, but we'll take it. I don't know. Maybe we paid the refs this game. Who knows? But there's no one else to take this penalty other than Mr. Mario Balotelli, and he's going to put it in for us. So we're up one nothing, just like that. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, eventually, in the still in the first half here, we're going to find Adam Johnson making a beautiful run, and he's going to put it in right past the keeper. Adam Johnson's a great player, guys, for a 80-rated right mid. I highly recommend him. And the 3-5-2 is absolutely amazing this year. Um, your left and right mids just get involved so, so much, and it's absolutely great. I, it's probably my favorite formation as of right now. Um, Wayne Rooney, who doesn't get much action from our team, but look at this first touch and this goal. Woo! Oh, oh, Mr. Wayne Rooney, you may have just earned your spot on a future team that we're going to make revolving you, my friend. Look at that beautiful goal. Uh, I haven't used Wayne Rooney much simply because I never wanted to team stack. But anyways, the game's going to end 3 nothing, and we're going to go ahead and jump in right into our next match. We're still going to go ahead and use the 3-5-2 team. Um, if it's not broken, don't change it or don't fix it, as they say. We come up against this guy who has an absolute amazing squad. Kun Aguero, Robin Van Persie, Mata, etc., etc. Just an absolute beast squad. I was actually a little bit worried. I haven't came up against someone with this good of a squad yet. And we find Diote on the run with an over-the-top through ball. And he's going to smash the ball right past the keeper we're up one nothing just like that things are looking good um we've, we've been playing d1 really well this series right now and adam johnson here is going to finesse it his keeper ends up saving it i believe he had hugo lori in in goal and hugo lori is an absolute beast he's going for a lot of coins though so it's going to be worth it for him here in the 45th minute we get lucky it falls on mbia's foot I guess if you want to say and he just demolishes the ball and puts it in the net I don't really think he's got a great shooting rating but you guys know 45th minute awkward things happen eventually here in the second half it's in the 52nd minute we're gonna go ahead and build up the play like we like you know passing it around passing it around finding that open man on the making that run and look at what Balotelli's gonna do here whoop scoop turn roulettes and then he's gonna finesse it right past the keeper mario balotelli you little beast you go on with yourself son go on we're gonna go ahead and watch that again that was a really really nice goal the scoop turns one of my absolute favorite skill moves since fifa 12 i i like doing it when i deliver a pass and then i just turn right past the defender and go on towards goal but this is how this one's gonna end guys we're gonna beat this guy 3-0 as well so that's two games in a row we're beating someone 3-0 after making our defensive adjustments so i guess it was a good change um yeah I'm, I'm preventing people from scoring so hey looks like it's doing well so far we're gonna go ahead and continue continue with this team and we're in good position now to win division one, we have, uh, I believe, four wins now, one loss and one draw. So we have, let me see here, the, the screen's about to come up and I, we'll have a better idea. I believe I have four wins, one loss and one draw, and that should still put us in great position to win the division and get another premium gold pack. 
Um, now, something a little bit off topic. I really want to hear your thoughts on this. A lot of people. I've been reading the FIFA Ultimate Team forums, and a lot of people are complaining about playing in Division One. A lot of people are saying it's a full of pace abuse, full of this, full of that. But I haven't really noticed anything really that hard to play against, to be honest with you guys. Um, oh, here we go. We have 13 points out of 21 with four games left, so we can still do it. I believe in myself. Um, in any case. I want to hear what your thoughts are on playing on Division One. A lot of people are thinking it's not that enjoyable. It's not a, an enjoyable experience. Um, I'm I'm having fun with it, so I'm going to continue playing it. Um, another thing I wanted to ask you guys is how many games do you think is good to show you guys in one episode? I was thinking of showing two games per episode to keep that video time length between five to seven minutes. I really feel like that's the best um best length for a video to keep someone's attention and for me personally once it gets to 10 minutes I just kind of get bored and start forwarding through it so I'm gonna try to keep things between five to seven minutes to keep things short sweet and simple and make episodes easy to view so you guys you know stay interested in everything and all that good stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here and we'll show you guys what we're gonna end up doing for the next episodes we're actually gonna be building new teams so be sure to stay tuned and hopefully you guys um, enjoy this series so far. So with that said, my name is Smarba. If you guys are enjoying this content, please subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to put them in the comment section below. I read them all the time. Or shoot me a tweet on Twitter. Um, Twitter.com forward slash Smarba TV. You can also catch me on Twitch TV at Twitch TV forward slash Smarba. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. And take care. Peace.